Hi everybody, how you doing? It's Sammy Caps. I just wanted to do a quick video on a recent update regarding the Diablo 4 PTR and the fact that we got a notice from Prez Radar that PTR known issues and what to expect and they outlined some of the bugs that are going to be in the PTR that they're not going to be able to fix during the PTR testing uh, but will be addressed afterwards now the reason why i wanted to make this video is because i was going into the ptr with certain ideas of what i wanted to test and after very quickly glancing through this document it's clear some of that testing is gonna not be able to be performed to the full extent because of these bugs so i wanted to create a video on this because it is going to impact uh, personally my capability of testing everything in full. So let's get down to what we know. And again, Pez Radar sent this out. Hi, all. As we prepare for the start of the PTR, we want to remind everyone the PTRs, what are some of the larger known issues that you may experience in the testing period? So they're forewarning us. PTR allows players to check out and provide feedback on some of the content coming to Diablo 4 in the near future. Due to the PTR being a preview of upcoming content, please note that many things are still in the early stages and we have identified several notable ones in the list below. I'm gonna highlight some of the ones that are gonna impact, I know, my testing. You should expect to see some less polish in a PTR from what you see in the final release. And I totally get that. I totally expect lag issues and to be quite frank i'm not going to be concerned about that because at the end of the day those things are not going to come up in the live version that's the last thing i'm going to unless it's you know your player is frozen and doesn't move and stuck all the time that that's different um but of course ptr you should expect uh performance i'm not testing performance i'm more concerned about what i said in my last video about the end game loop that is going to be my primary focus anyway we can assure you that these items will be addressed before the start of the new season along with other smaller items that not will not, that are not listed below and and i totally get that i'm not concerned about it personally we're looking forward to the feedback da, 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 da. okay so here are the bugs and I'm gonna highlight the ones that I think are gonna put a kibosh to what I wanted to test. So tempering. Some legendary temper temporary affixes do not increase in area effect size correctly. Severe death blow, leap, shadow embowment. Um, so I would consider this, of course, <laughs> it's not a good bug, um, but really, that for my own personal testing, it's not going to be crazy uh, obstructive to what I want to accomplish in this testing. Some temp tempered affixes with cooldown reduction statistics decrease backwards. These become worse. <laughs> oh boy. Legendary temporary affixes with duration do not increase skill as expected. Rogue shadow clone steel grasp. Some tempered affixes with plus skills do not always work as intended when upgraded. Barbarian Dust Devil legacy temper affix might cause performance issues. Sorcerer Crackling Energy legendary temper affix has, re has placeholder text. Druid bonus damage to companions affix doesn't function as intended. Ooh, that might piss off a lot of people. I think the companion Druid is going to be a popular build. Um, so there's going to be a lot of people upset at that during the PTR. Druid bonus critical strike chance after using shred affix doesn't function as attended. <laughs> Druid poison creeper magic recipe does not apply for the passive damage over time bonus. Druid lucky hit with earth skills affix doesn't function as intended. Holy moly. A tempered or master worked item unbinds from the account if the player exits and re enters the game. Oh, okay. Note to self don't exit and re exit the game. Oh my god. Uh, let me reread that. A tempered or master worked item unbinds from the account. 
if the player exits and re-enters the game. Okay, so stay in game after a masterwork or tempered. Oof, the tempered item button disappears after placing an item with the maximum rank of the masterworking in the masterworking slot. Ow. Player can temper an ineligible non-accessorial access ancestral item without results if an affix is selected first. Oof. Okay, masterworking. Ooh, this this is what I'm interested in. Masterwork ranks do not reset after selecting the reset. What? Ooh, that's not good. Bonus ranks to skills are not highlighted when the mouse style bonus procs on them. That's not good. When trying to upgrade an item using the masterwork menu, a missing string displays. The chance to upgrade percentage isn't highlighted after a failed roll. Well, that's key. These, this is not good, guys. Item preview upon completion of masterwork results is displaying a magic item instead of the actual item. Come on. The game soft locks when the player uses the master rework rank button while having insufficient amount of gold and materials to masterwork. Ugh. Razor plate unique chest armor does not masterwork properly. Okay, hell tides. What's going on with hell? Hell tides map overlay UI does not properly clear if hell tide ends. Blood Maiden Summoning Altar does not show up on map until the player gets close. Some monsters may spawn part way into the ground. Doomsayer Bounty and Fractured Peaks will sometimes display in the wrong subzone. Hairbringer spawned by Ravenous Soulspire and Hellspire events do not, do not progress the bounty. The Accursed Ritual area to summon the Blood Maiden only appears on the mini map if the player is close enough. Jeez, some performance issues may be encountered on lower spec machines. Okay, the pit. Crafting cost does not match amount of currency consumed. Oh, God. After using the PTR boost, the pit unlock quest does not inform the player where to get ruin shards. Inform yourself, guys, on how to get the Ruin Shards, okay? There is no warning when an activated pit tier resets a Nightmare Dungeon. Player can leave and re-enter via Town Portal. Players may encounter issues when activating the pit in succession. Players may encounter issues when Ruin Shards are consumed and the pit will not be activated. In this scenario, the player will have to repeat the use of Ruin Shards to activate the pit. Do we lose do we lose the original ruin shard? Oh my god. Affects descriptions use placeholder text. Players that did not open the pit can receive stygian stones on higher tiers. Gear drops are not guaranteed 925 item power. Timer UR bar can display out of sync with remaining time. Multiplayer drop rates of masterworking materials are being tuned. This is like, this is like major stuff for me. Like, I w like the materials in order to farm the pit and what you get and what to use with masterworking and, you know, how stige how many stygian stones we're gonna get. These are all pivotal in what I wanted to test. This this is, I, I guess we're gonna have to see in game, but this does not look good. Boss shadow clones may display a boss icon on the mini map. Certain activities do not properly drop ruin shards. Ugh. Bounty, hell tie, war bra, all caches, nightmare dungeon, ruin shards can be found. Oh my God. Codex of Power, there are several aspects that do not appear in the keywords. Such for only high ranking recipes in the codex are displayed as learned. General and over various issues with screen reader support. Priority high monster count issues. Some skills may not be 
by visible in low fix high monster count situations. Barb, Iron Maelstrom, Dust Devils, Druid, Poison Creeper, Passive, Tornado, Sorcerer, Deep Freeze, Spark, Necromancer, Corpse, Corpse Tendrils, Bone Storm, Rogue, Inner Sight, plus a few legendary affixes and shrines. Players may have difficulty hitting stat thresholds within Paragon boards. The Gate Hell from Season 3 appears on Minimap. Minions Inherit Thrones does not display property on... <sighs> Some achievements still contain placeholder text. Rogue's Twisting Blade's return can be reduced to below zero with enough tempering and masterworking upgrades. Oh my god. Greater affixes for plus core skills do not roll a maximum level. All Barbarian, Necromancer, and Robe. Oh my god, the greater affixes for plus score skills do not roll at max level. Sapphire socketed into weapons do not provide the correct stat bonus that is stated in the gem's tooltip. Life per hit stat does not appear in the character stats. Oh my god. Okay, guys, so there's some there's some stuff here that is gonna impact like my thoughts on the on the new end game loop as i've described it on a previous video this is um look ptr is going to have issues but some of this stuff that's been highlighted actually impacts how we can formulate an opinion on on the new mechanics the new itemization in the game like these these are some serious things that will put a question mark on well if this isn't how it works because things are not working properly well then how's it going to work if if that makes any sense anyway this is um what's been posted out there and there is a lot of known bugs that are going to be in the PTR for the whole week they're not going to be able to address these this week. I wanted to get it out there. I'm going to post this article in the video description. I just wanted to give you a heads up. If you plan on participating in the PTR from April 2nd to April 9th, these known issues are going to be in the PTR. So heads up. And... Uh, I have to say a little bit of a bummer going into it, but we're going to go in with our eyes open and optimism, and we're going to test what we can test, and we're going to find out whether or not these bugs are really going to impact how we can formulate an opinion. By the way, come and join me live tonight. We're going to be streaming the Diablo 4 PTR, where I'm going to test this stuff bugs or no bugs we're still going to perform the test and we'll talk about the impact of these bugs heck this may be included with my feedback who knows uh, we can only guess what this is going to have what kind of impact it's going to have but join me live tonight uh 7 7 30 ish eastern standard time on twitch i'll be live streaming my testing on the ptr the channel name is Sammy Caps. Come and join me. We can have a dialogue, share your experience as well. I would love to hear how it's going so far for you on the PTR testing. Anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. If you can like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And like I said, I haven't said this in a long time, but we'll see you in Sanctuary tonight. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.